Hey, Capricorn, this is Alex. <laughs> I almost said this is Aries. Anyway, this is Alex. I'm here to bring you your weekly love reading. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. Let's see what God, Angels, and Universe has for you, Cappy. Your cards are coming out all willy-nilly, so let's get that in order. Uh-oh, you got two fours back at back to back. You have come out in your own reading. Capricorn as the devil. And if I can get my stuff together, we got the six of cups at the bottom. What has overwhelmed you into seclusion? Angel said a reoccurring problem. A reoccurring situation. It's almost like the devil is back. Um, and with the Six of Cups, it's almost like that angel or pre previous love also wants to come back too. Um, I do kind of feel like this is you, Capricorn, wanting to head back towards your previous love, whomever that is. Mm-hmm. Ten of Swords, and you also have the Ten of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. Yes, Scorpio, yes. Show up in Capricorn's reading. You got another 10 on the board, so what does that? Baby makes three. Ten of, ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Only 10 not out here is the Ten of Wands. Sorry, I'm just going to take a minute. You got these two gentlemen here. You want to do the right thing. I hear, but you're not necessarily sure how much longer you can keep this up. Um, I feel like you keep communicating to your person to let you in. I feel like you know they're not going to let you in. But you don't necessarily want to see that. You feel like the odd man or odd woman out in this uh, Capricorn. And it's almost like the inevitable is coming. It's on its way. This is crazy because I do feel like this is a marriage, especially with all these tens on the table, right? I don't have any queens on the table, but you would think that the six of cups and the ten of cups has everything to do with your current marriage, current situation. But I'm reading this as um, somebody who made you happy before who you could have been in a long-term relationship with or even friendship with. Um, either they make a return or you want that you want to you want them to make a return. Ten of Swords with the Ten of uh, Pentacles. This is um trying to make your happily trying to get to your happily ever after by any means necessary um you're carrying a heavy load a lot of it is mental this could also represent guilt as well but it's almost like you got a lot on your mind you got a lot on your plate you got a lot coming at you at one time and i do feel like to an extent you are trying to do the right thing capricorn um but i just kind of feel especially with these being two tens it is getting overwhelming it is getting to be too much um, to more who's given, more is expected, right? That's exactly what I just got from these two tens. So it's almost like if you want more, you got to do more. So if you're receiving more to do, don't bitch. It's because you want it more. You know what I mean? If you want less, you get less. You do less. Okay? I love that, by the way. I need to marinate on that and meditate on that. If you want less, you get less. Um, with the four of swords... And also the King of Pentacles, right? For a lot of you guys, you could be the head of household, right? And you could be recovering from a situation that either threatened that or for some of you, you could have been removed from your house, say like if you broke up, you know, um, from your person or for some of you your position as the head of household could be je in jeopardy as in you know you got the king of pentacles here but you also have this king of swords too so for some of you guys it's almost like you could feel like you're going to be replaced by a different king or another king 
that's just for a few of you. For some of you guys, it's almost like your mind is constantly on how to do better, how to take care of your family, how to look over your kingdom. Is you know, am I doing everything right? Could I be doing more? That's a part of being overwhelmed as well, right? You do have the Ten of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles side by side, so I absolutely do feel like Capricorn. The rest of your life, you know, how these bills are going to get paid when we're paying our house off, the you know, the kids going to college and things of that nature, that definitely is on your mind, has been on your mind for some time. Not only that, but you are 1 million percent committed to that, right? But also at the same time, you're also wondering too when the other shoe is going to drop. Um, I'm hearing the other shoe dropping could be related to your mate, right? What's interesting, I just looked at and saw here, they ain't not a cup over here. All the cups wound up in the end. You know what I mean? So I do kind of feel like um, for you, Capricorn, that a lot of this could be robotic, automatic, automated. Right? It's almost like you're just doing these things, becoming like this creature of habit, this creature of routine, um, and hoping like hell that nothing falls apart. Right, right, with the Four of Pentacles and then also the Ten of Swords. You know, the Four of Pentacles, he's, he's either stingy or holding on too tight. He's saving up all of his money. He's using money as an excuse not to do anything else. It's like money comes first and everything. It's all all day, every day, money, money, money. Right? Or things that are value. You, be, you could be trying to hold on tight to your family, your family structure. But the King of Swords is there like, hold my beer. Okay? That King of Swords is like, dude, do that. You're not being honest with yourself. This shit is going to fall apart. Now, tell me something, Capricorn. How did I know that? Boop. Tower right there. It's almost like you're trying to hold something together that is destined to fall apart. Now, by the way, remember, ladies and gentlemen, the tower just breaks down the old so the new can be built. Right? So your current structure, you know, this Ten of Pentacles, uh, King of Pentacles, God is trying to restructure it, but you're fighting like hell to keep it in place. Well, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce myself, Alex, the King of Swords. So I'm here to tell you, it is in inevitable. Your shit is going to change. Your situation is going to change. It is inevitable. Now, here you go, Cappy. Right? As the devil and the two of swords. You ain't trying to hear that shit. You ain't trying to hear it. You know, you ain't trying to believe it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it's late where I'm at and doing these readings. But you ain't trying to hear it. You trying to keep up and, you know, stay in your comfort zone. And stay used to what you know. And keep everything in, in place. And you ain't trying to rock the boat. Um, but consider the boat rocked okay it is starting to lean i also hear too that some of you guys are afraid you're scared it's almost like you're scared to move into this new environment because you don't know what's there you don't know how to navigate through it well that's the unfortunate unfortunate part about life and also evolution every growth spurt introduces new and unknown information by now, Capricorn, you should be used to it. Okay, definitely if you're over the age of 40, you should be used to all of the damn monkey wrenches that life has thrown your way. Okay, you should be a full believer in monkey wrenches. With Scorpio here and also the Knight of Pentacles, this is, it's going to happen. There has to be change. You have to move away from that comfort zone. It's going to happen, right? Take this as a notification, not a warning, right? Because it's for a good thing. It, it actually may resurrect that loving feeling, yes, in your current household, your current situation. It actually may do that, right? Um, so it's almost like don't take this as a warning, but take this as, hey, change is coming, change, change is, is forthcoming, right? But I do kind of feel like when it actually does happen, it's for the better. It's for the better. Like... What I'm also getting to is that for some of you guys, it's almost I hear angels saying, oh, well, you think you know what your happily ever after looks like today. But hold, hold my beer because the universe has something else in, in order for you. 
What I'm also hearing for you too, Capricorn, is that for a lot of you guys, you stay in this practical, mental, logical space. The universe may be trying to bring more emotion into your love and your loving existence. Okay, let's see what romance angels have for you, Cap, and we'll close it out. <clears throat> it's safe for you to love again. Hot damn. Okay, that just basically means that, again, you're being too in your head and too, too, too far away from your heart. It's like go into your heart space. Soulmate. Mm-hmm. That's the Six of Cups, right? I do kind of feel like there's going to be some sort of resurrection with this particular soulmate. It could be your current person. Angels say doubtful. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. I need a minute. <laughs> that was very direct. Um, could be the resurrection of, uh, it could be, like I was saying, it could have been your existing person, but it also could be somebody new as well. But what they just gave me clarification on is if your current person morphs and evolves themselves, then they become your quote-unquote new person because they're a different version of themselves. I can't. Wedding. I just said that. Your, it could be your current person morphing into um, something new. Um, for some of you guys, you could be marrying this person and you also have true love there. That's this right here. That's this right here. You need to move away from this whole logical practical. Move more so into romantic or excuse me. Could be romantic, could be emotional, could be compassionate, could be sensitive, sensitivity, um, could be anything. You need to kind of move more towards into that space and, and push all of this to the side because this all, um, again, is going to fall away and crash away to make room for this. All right, Capricorn, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. I hope this does resonate. If it does, please feel free to like, share, subscribe. If you're interested in a personal reading, my contact details are always below in the description. Love you, Cap. Bye.